Hello, I'm Bill Jordan, uh, Walla Walla School District Superintendent, and I want to talk with you about uh, what's going on in April. First of all, we've uh, had a spring vacation, which is, uh, makes our month shorter, but um, compacts a lot of things into the rest of our schedule for the rest of the month. Hope you had a good vacation, those of you that were able to, uh, to get away or spend time with your kids and family. And uh, now it's uh, a push uh, during this fourth quarter of our school district to the end of the school year. And um, I want to bring you up to date on a couple of things that have happened here in the last uh, um, bit and will continue to happen uh, during April. Let me tell you about um, the school board in resolution 0215 um, passed a resolution seeking a waiver from the State Board of Education to uh, grant us two years uh, delay in the implementation of the core 24 graduation requirements. Currently, Washington State has 20 credits required for graduation of a high school student. Walla Walla requires 22 credits for graduation. The state um, in uh, legislature passed a bill um, saying that with the class of 2019, credits will be uh, 24 to graduate from high school. So we're asking for a two-year delay so that we can do uh, several things. One is uh, watch carefully the enrollment decline that we anticipate because of the College Place School District opening. And um, once that settles out and our staff settles out, we're, we're, that'll help put us in, a, I believe, a better position to address these needs. Secondly, we have some course development to do, some course alignment to do, and um, we are also looking at some college and the high school experiences for um, the Wall our Walla Walla high schools. Additionally, um, uh, credits uh, can be received dual crediting for our CTE classes and high school classes. Those courses um, will be vetted and uh, credits uh, identified that will make this um, 24 credit degree um, more uh, uh, attainable, certainly more clear than it is today. So we're gonna take some time to do that. I announced that uh, Chris Gardia, principal at uh, Prospect Point Elementary School is our new executive director of human resources. And Chris, will uh, assume that position full-time in July, and he's doing some transition work uh, here in the central office over this uh, rest of the spring. What that brings us to is a principal opening at Prospect Point Elementary School. And we're working with the staff uh, at uh, Prospect Point to profile the principal, characteristics and qualifications for that position then we will um, invite applicants to um, uh, seek candidacy here in our school district. Those uh, interviews will be held probably in May, and then we will um, see a new principal come into our ranks uh, coming in July. So that's something to pay attention to and participate in if you have the opportunity to uh, uh, be in on any of the interviews or volunteer for any of the work in, in support of that process. The uh, school board heard a presentation from uh, Dr. Dick Simon regarding uh, sleep studies that uh, he's been doing and the research that's been going on for decades regarding sleep cycles and teenagers. The board has, um, in response to that, um, presentation and conversations with the administration, the board is asking that um, the district do a study on uh, sleep and uh, its effect on students and their learning, and what might um, the results of a later start for high school uh, result in in relation to academic performance or athletic performance and, and student uh, overall wellness. So that is uh, just getting off the ground I'm sure you'll hear more about that and uh, have the opportunity to give some uh, input into um, the uh, potential for a 
new schedule of the fall of 2016, if indeed there is a recommendation for a late start. Something to look forward to. The um, Lincoln High School has developed a partnership with the Children's Home Society. And a grant was um, applied for by the Children's Home Society and won. The grant is a five-year grant for, um, this is uh, for early child care and a partnership with Lincoln uh, High School. The grant is for 16 slots and um, the um, housing of those and the work with parents and kids in the Lincoln um, High School at that site. The grant is for uh, $275,000 a year for five years. There's also a $134,000 startup piece of that grant, which allows for the uh, renovation of, uh, of um, a portable at Lincoln so that we meet the requirements needed. Uh, and they're pretty strict regarding young kids, very, very young kids, and um, how they're cared for in a school environment. Um, give you a couple opportunities for um, uh, parts of our community. The Green Park uh, community has an opportunity to get involved in conversations with the city about what the Isaacs project is going to look like. And that date is April 14th uh, from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Green Park Library. So if you're interested in having a, uh, an opportunity to talk with the city about that project and uh, get it it's in its design phase, this would be a great opportunity. You've heard me talk about CTEC before and the great things going on out uh, in our partnership uh, with six other school districts. They're having an open house on the 20th of April and that open house is from noon to 6 p.m. Another great time for you to come and see our newest facility in the school district. Uh, we're really proud of it and the things that are happening there. Uh, and it, April is the month that our CNA students uh, um, get their pinning. They're testing this month and, and will be pinned. Pretty exciting, pretty exciting stuff. Well, I um, enjoy talking with you. I look forward to uh, talking with you in May. Uh, when you see me out and about, say hello, introduce yourselves, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Mm -hmm.